This is David Hofmeister's Unwind Your Mind Back to God, read by Tarana Singh. In today's episode, we continue laying the foundation with Book 1. In Chapter 6, this is Section 13. Getting to the Bottom of Belief Hi David, I have a resurging question. If I believe that I am the only one, that there is no one out there, it is all a movie screen, then why do I believe in being helpful to the characters in the script? Who is there to be awakened? Why do some figures seem to have awakened while others seem not to have? How can some of the mind be asleep and some of the mind be awake? When I lay the body aside and the dream is ended, what about the other dream figures? I think you know what I am getting at. There is something here I have not resolved, something I cannot explain. Beloved one, thanks for your devotion to awakening. Being helpful is being tuned in to the spirit. And this helpfulness is in a purpose of mind that offers only benefit. Your happy, joyful, peaceful, free-flowing state of mind is the gift for it is our beatitude. This state of mind comes from being in purpose and thus not taking anything personally. In the joy of the living moment, there is no concern or worry for any of the characters of the script, for one has stepped back and is identified with mind, not body. There is only one mind to be awakened. One mind awake sees all the characters as the same. No character is ahead or behind. No character is awake or asleep. All of the characters were constructs or symbols of the wish to have private thoughts and private minds. Awakening sees the impossibility of such an attempt, for one mind is unified and cannot be divided and alone and separate. The happy dream brings an end to dreaming because forgiveness is a dream of non-judgment. Then, as the mind remembers it is creation, self, the illusion of dreaming is over and never was. When the body is laid aside in atonement, the cosmos is laid aside as well. Eternity remains as God creates. There is no time in what is forever spirit.